Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, more or less finished up the preparations for the defense of this little village against whatever the fuck is going on at the castle. So now I guess we still have to talk to uh, Sir Perth. Uh, apparently. I thought we were talking to Murdoch. Uh, turns out, no. We finished the rest of the preparations with, uh, Sir Perth. So, uh, up we go back to talk to him. So, uh, here we are. Thing over there? And it's still, yeah, other, otherwise unremarkable at this time. I have no idea what's up with this. So, uh, let's talk to Sarah. What is it you need? Uh, is there anything I can do to help you? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Oh, okay. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, oh. I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Uh... Fair enough. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Fair enough. Fair enough. As Carry on. Grey Warden, make a watch over you. Uh, of course. All right. We just talk to the lady in the chantry. Mother Hannah. Uh, wherever she's at. I'm assuming that would be the chantry, though. So, uh, away we go to do that. Okay. Here we are at the chantry. And Caitlin. And I guess now we talk to Mother Hannah. What is it you need, child? Uh. Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures. A shield only the Maker can provide. And that I withhold this power. Okay. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. But if they think it helps them... I cannot do oh. it. Come on. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now, please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Well, so much for that. Give me a second. I'm going to actually scooch in a little bit. There we go. Only just minimal squeaking of the chair. Cool. All right. Go back up. Tell Sir Perth there's no real thing she can do other than pray for you. So, uh... Good luck, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not much else. Not much else you said. So, uh... Yeah. Now, I wasn't going to intimidate her for that. Sir Perth. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Good to hear. You said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Does not believe she can help you. I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The Maker will not help us. Thank you for your efforts. We shall fight on, nevertheless. 
You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Just nothing worked to, to cure him. Find out if there's anything worse. I can do about it later. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact okay, that chair, has great up. healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tavinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is I think we've already heard this, now that I think about it. Uh, I want to discuss something else. As you wish. Uh, I'm ready to make my stand here. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Uh... I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure I planned out everything else with Murdoch. Perhaps you're right. Good. Go do whatever you must and return before it is time. I will be here. Okay. I'll do that. Talk to him. And uh, we'll see how it goes. If there's anything different I can do, I will do it. Okay. Murdoch. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Sounds good. Uh, how is morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. Yeah. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Good. We're better off now that we've sufficient arms. I don't know that we're ready for the battle, really, but were we ever? True. Is there anything else? Um... I'm ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. No, I'm, I'm very sure. Let's, let's go with it. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. Okay. Let us do it. Oh, one of the cutscenes. That is mildly unsettling. Saving content. It's time, men. Know that we fight for the Maker. Light the traps. Burn these foul creatures. That'll help a little. Didn't really slow them up too much, but it did damage them. Alright. Oh boy. Well, at least we have a lot of help. Not much else I can say about that. Okay. If you if you actually did the things I was saying. Right. Good. We might not actually need anything else. Standing in the fire is not a good idea, guys. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. There we go. And good. And we're doing great. Doing great. Almost nothing I really need to do to keep this fight going any longer. 
Ooh, Alistair needs some healing, though. The monsters are attacking from the lake! They're attacking the barricades! We need help! Fair enough. Stay here and guard the Come path. On, we need to hurry! He actually looks very well equipped. Alright, militia guy, let's go. Might just win this. Oh yeah, I realized I I only just realized I never really set the tactics for uh Morgan to use healing. Maybe that's what the problem is. Um Maybe you shouldn't set her for damager. Um, supporter? Yeah, that works. Cool. Yeah, let's save it. There we go. Oh yeah, they are. They are in trouble down here. Though not as much as they probably would have been otherwise. Alright. We are in it. Well, they're taken care of. Too bad. Okay, well. This could be going far worse. Absolutely be going far worse. Got it pretty well handled. to have Morgan start doing the healing. Okay, come on. Don't we actually attack him. They just keep moving around. Really the biggest problem we got. Badly at all. All right. Oh, they're actually dropping loot even. Oh, no, one of the militiamen fell. Oh, no. But only one fell in the whole fighting? That's not bad. If only one fell during all of the fighting. 
dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. Thank you. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. You are very welcome. <laughs> Come on. Let's not go with the third one. That's ridiculous. There's still much more to do, Ben Tegan. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. I guess. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. So let it be. With the maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Sounds good. Hey, we got level ups. Nice. I want to be just like you when I grow up. A great hero. Aww. There is much to do now that the danger is over. We must rebuild the village. Fair enough. Hey, Murdoch. I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Yeah. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. Sounds good. I could use a good commander myself. No offense, but I've lived under the Arl my whole life. I'll fight when he calls me, or when I absolutely need to, and that's it. Fair enough. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. Sounds good. And completely understandable. Alright, so let us level up. I can actually choose a specialization right now? Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Reaver, Berserker, Templar, Champion. Huh. Demonic spirits teach more than blood magic. Reavers terrorize their enemies, feast upon the souls of their slain opponents to heal their own flesh, and can unleash a blood frenzy that makes them more powerful as they come nearer to their own deaths. Berserker. The first Berserkers were dwarves. They would sacrifice finesse for a dark rage that increased their strength and resilience. Eventually, dwarves taught these skills to others. Now Berserkers can be found amongst all races. They are renowned as terrifying adversaries. Uh, we already have a Templar in Alistair. Uh, mages who refuse the Circle's control become apostates and live in fear of a Templar's powers. The ability to dispel and resist magic. As servants of the Chantry, the Templars have been the most effective means of controlling the spread and use of arcane power for centuries. Hmm. Or just Champion. The Champion is a veteran warrior and a confident leader in battle. Possessing skill at arms impressive enough to inspire allies, Champion can also intimidate and demoralize foes. These are the heroes you find commanding an army or plunging headlong into battle, somehow making it look easy. Hmm. I either want to go Reaver or Champion, and I'm not sure which I want to do. Well, if we're going to go strictly the same route as Tomas himself, as he is, I think that's the case. Then we would probably go Reaver. Just a little bit. Hmm. 
Hmm. Although both kind of work. Ah! That's damn it. Do I have to choose? Can I not go both ways? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I haven't unlocked these as paths yet, so... Eventually, I guess, I'll get to. Alright, in the meantime, let's just level these up. Um... Yeah, that'll work. And then talents, what can I do? Unwavering Courage grants bonuses to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance, as well as a bonus to critical chance that increases proportionally to the number of enemies above two that the warrior is engaging. Alright. Everything else is weapon-based. At least this is passive, so I don't have to uh, engage it as a thing. Huh. disengage. A relaxed position makes the warrior seem less threatening, reducing the hostility of nearby targets who may seek other targets instead. Hmm. Eventually we might go for that. Right now I guess we're just gonna go bravery. Brave, bravery? Bravery? Was my mouth really going for that? Alright. Bravery. There we go. Sounds less stupid that way. Oh, Alistair. Almost forgot about him. And his level up. Okay. So. Now, he didn't get a specialization point. Huh. Fair enough, I guess. Alright, uh, we'll boost up his strength. Uh, his constitution a little bit too... Uh... Hmm. I think his dexterity is about where we might need it. And... Well, let's add a little to willpower as well. This requires level 9, which we aren't at yet. Uh, shield defense. Hmm. It's a sustained one. Let's just have him go bravery for now. And then we'll go for that next when we up his, uh, up his, uh, stamina pool a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, because I don't want to end up taking more than half of his stamina pool. Alright. We did it. We did it and we survived. Barely. I truly do not believe in any sort of higher power. It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Must I? What do you believe happens to you after you die, then? Nothing? I do not go to sit by the Maker's side, if that's what you mean. Only those who are worthy are brought to the Maker's side. 
so many other sad souls are left to wander in the void, hopeless and forever lost. And what evidence of this have you? <laughs> I see only spirits, no wandering ghosts of wicked disbelievers. It must be so sad to look forward to nothing, to feel no love and seek no reward in the afterlife. Yes, the anguish tears at me so. You have seen through me to my sad, sad core. Now you're simply mocking me. You notice. It appears your perceptive powers know no bounds. <sighs> Morrigan, you are such a bitch. Just such a bitch. Usually I find that sort of bitchiness endearing, but you're just a bitch for being a bitch. Oh, hey, it's my name twin. So we won the battle? Yeah. If this is what war is like, with so many people hurt and dying, I don't want to think about what fighting the Darkspawn will be like. Fair and enough. Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. Mm -hmm. I'll go when they call me, I guess. I'm going to get drunk first, though. Yeah, that's fair. Excuse me. That's fair. Can't really blame you, guy. Can't really blame you, name twin. That is completely understandable, given the circumstances. Twin's home is, I guess going to be empty so yeah I don't know why the blood only just started <laughs> just pooling there now but uh all right that's weird just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything <laughs> I guess that's a believable thing right General store. Is anyone now in the general store? Now that the fight is over? No. Okay. Hmm. And this was the one that I couldn't get open with uh, Leliana. Is it still the case? Mm, no, yep. I don't think so. Yep. Yep. That's about what I thought. Regeneration, huh? Greatly accelerating health regeneration for a short time. That would be good. Not something I'll be able to get in the long run. At least not quickly. But it's something. Alright. Then look at that. Begging your pardon, we have a lot more bodies to burn before we can turn in. We have to do this before rot sets in, you know. Understandable. Don't really blame me for that. Just running around seeing if there's anything else I can get before I, you know, head off. Mage's Collective Liaison? What? You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Uh-huh. Exactly who I was hoping to meet. Really? I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Alrighty. How can I help you? Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Mm-hmm. I'll take a look at these requests. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Good Make us smile upon you. Thank you very much. Collective bag. Careless accusations. Hmm. The activities of the Malef Maleficarum, I think. That's how you pronounce it? Okay. On my doorstep did not go unnoticed, and now I'm in danger of being brought before the Templars myself. A small band of drifters claim to have seen me practicing forbidden arts, and they have left to deliver testimony of my alleged deeds to the Chantry. I ask the mages collective to find and stop these false witnesses by any means necessary. They were traveling on along the road from Lothring to Denerim, where their lies will seal my fate. I see. Get that. A gift of silence. This collective is only successful at the pleasure of the Templars. 
Their continued devotion to our safety requires certain concessions on our part. In the interest of renewing our relationship with these fine and generous agents of the Maker, we ask that a willing man or woman of character grace our good friends with the gift of lyrium. Procure ten lyrium potions and offer them to up to Knight Commander Harith in Redcliffe. Okay. I said cliff instead of cliff. That's my bad. My uh, tongue decided to rebel against me there. Oh, disaster. So consumed have I been in my personal... Personal? Personal projects. <laughs> oh, my tongue. Uh, continues to rebel even now. That I've neglected to collect vital components of the herbal remedy I use to sharpen my mind for thoughts of the other world. Without it, I'm ruined. Ruined! I will humbly reward anyone who brings me ten bundles of deep mushrooms. With this, I can continue on my quest for enlightenment with a clear mind and fewer bouts with drowsiness and an indigestion. Okay. May he who accepts this request be showered in riches and love from the Maker's heart for this noble and selfless act. This is literally my salvation. That's a little, a little odd, but okay. The Scrolls of Bannister. Okay. In times such as these, one must suspect even his neighbor of the darkest dealings, lest they cast a shadow upon those who labor under the light. I, Jabasto, have heard of a cabal of maleficrum, Maleficarum <laughs> performing rituals in the dark near my sanctum, and I certainly wish to see them brought to justice for their dark deeds. I hesitate, however, to accuse them of foul sorcery without a full understanding of the trappings, ritual, and appearance the dark magic will require. Okay. Uh, the writings of the Hayden Maleficarum Bannister should be suitable. Should a courier be available to procure me copies of the Scrolls of Bannister, uh, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, I would be appropriately grateful. Alright. Fair enough. That should be all of them. Ooh. Yawn, I apologize. Wait. Oh, that's just the general store. Okay. In that case, I will take this route. Go back up. I go wait. Chantifera. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal. But know that the sun always rises. Alright. Oh, and now there's missions over here too. Cool. I'll uh, get to those in a bit but uh blackstone liaison as i live and breathe you're the gray warden everyone's been talking about yeah is there something i can do for you i represent the blackstone irregulars we're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with orle okay i'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day yeah with your help the irregulars could be of use to ferelden once more all right how can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Oh. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. It does. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make his blessings light your path. Sounds good to me. And the box. Okay, we'll get to these in a second too. Alrighty. Well, that's a change. Alright, the game kind of opens up after uh, Redcliffe. Hmm, good to know. And uh, then we'll continue on with the adventures in Redcliffe. But for now, we got to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and helping out Redcliffe in their defense. And it seemed... Pretty easy, considering. Uh, we only lost one militia person, considering that 
we did as much preparing as we could and even lost Dwin in the process uh, because I didn't realize uh, we could probably have uh, recruited him a little easier or uh, I could have not threatened him and then made him try to kill us so I had to kill him into self-defense. Uh, that could have gone worse. That could have gone far worse, I think. Uh, probably helped that we then had Morrigan learn healing. So, uh, there's that. But, eh, like I said, could have been far worse. For you.